hi so this is the official day one of starting the writing process um, as you can tell there's hardly anything behind me um, I need to fill in my balls but this is my desk currently as of this moment and there's the rest of the bookshelves. That's what I am seeing. Currently I am converting and I'm going to upload the um, video for May 11. And while I'm waiting I thought I'll talk to you about what I have done, what I'm going to do. And going from there. So, today is the first day. I have been pre-planning for a week, but I've been mentally been pre-planning ever since I um, have been editing the, um, the poem October story. Um, I keep calling it that because I don't have a title for it yet. Um, I'm bouncing off titles um, in my head at the moment. But I've been thinking about um, how I'm going to tackle the doppelganger queen for quite some time. And I wrote about what I wanted to do for about a week. Um, which is why I was able to mention it in my um, previous video. But today is the day I actually started the editing. Um, and the reason why it's so quick is because this is my sixth draft. Um, I kind of know where my problems are um, for the most part. And I know where to go um, from here on out. Um, to... Um, it's such a huge book. Um, this is roughly 99,000 words, um, roughly 360-ish um, pages, which I broke down to about like 32 chapters. So um, that is the Dapper Ganger Queen. Uh, that's how uh, big it is. So it's a good average um, length for a um, fantasy novel. A bit big for a debut, I know, um, but um, it's still pretty good. Uh, it's a decent size. Um, and because it's so huge, I'm not going to take the time to really just sit down and just pre-plan all the rest of the chapters, because I know it's going to happen. Um, it's the butterfly effect. Um, once I start tweaking something, it's going to start altering what I need to do down the road. So what I have done um, is create what's called a work line. Um, I create a, a new space in between my new work that I am laying down and my old work down the bottom. And if I decide to keep anything I like from the previous old work, um, I move it up from that work line. And if I want to alter or change things, I'll just go and, and um, switch things around or create a new line and delete something from the older one. Um, I do this as a new save. I find it was just quicker than just copying and pasting um, material from the previous draft onto a new page and reformatting it or just keeping the same formatting but I'm still doing the whole copying and pasting. This way I won't accidentally cut any of the original that I really want to keep. And I am saving some extra steps just by doing this work line um, and it helps me get into the flow so to speak I'm still typing as I'm doing it I'm not moving the mouse 
around often. Um, I'm typing as I go. Um, and right now, I'm at a standstill because um, it's the first line. I had showcased my first line on Instagram and um, probably throughout, um, which is the I Survive one. Um, I decided to create a new line and it's hard because it's a baby form, so to speak. I have a concept of what words I want to use in that sentence, just a matter of phrasing it now. And I keep running into this first person point of view, even though it's a third person point of view. And I want to keep it in third person point of view where it is a semi-limited okay I lie where it is a third person view which follows certain characters um, in that chapter and it's from their perspective but it's not in their actual thoughts um, it's a third person semi-limited point of view and I did this because I have multiple characters whom I'm showcasing throughout the book and story. Um, it's similar to George R. R. Martin, but I'm using the actual main characters, not the side characters who are just witnessing everything before them. Um, not like a little video. So, for some reason, this first line keeps coming to me as a first person point of view. I always knew when blah 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 blah. Um, this is really hard for me to tackle because it's very very tempting to fall for this top POV because it is new. It is an interesting take and and I'm trying to resist because it is going to require a lot of rewriting. Um, I will have to shift all of my pronouns. I uh, will have to move from they, them, he, she, blah, 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 to I, and I did this, I am, and we, and me, you know. I have to shift those around. And each chapter I do have to showcase, oh, it's this character. It's doable, but it's a lot of extra work, and I'm playing in my head whether or not I want to deal with it. So that's fun. Um, that's what I'm struggling with now. Um, so all I did is create um, a new space line for me to create this new sentence, the first line of the story. And I wrote down in my little brackets WL, which is my work line. Um, and the rest is just the old copy, the old file of the Doppelganger Queen. So let's talk about the character's wound. Um, you probably heard about um, plot structure, how it just moved the stories along. Um, it's just describing the events that occur. The character arc is how a character changes over time from the events that occur, how they react to these changes and how they change the world through their actions. That is their arc. It's their personal journey through these um, exterior forces. Um, the why um, is the next layer. Uh, why? do they need to change? Uh, what is it that requires this transformation? Um, if they are a rising hero or a falling villain, or if it's just a um, flat character, so to speak, um, why is this dynamic change occurring? And it all comes from their wound. Um, their wound is um, part of the 
old concept they need to abandon that no longer serves their purpose. Um, their wound could be their insecurities about themselves. It could be their nastiness towards others. It could be how um, they need to become a better person or how the previous concepts um, just doesn't work for them. Um, what is it that makes them doubt themselves? What makes them um, scared? What makes them um, feel intimidated? Um, what makes them feel vulnerable? It's these doubts and flaws and insecurities and um, trepidations um, of themselves that draw us, um, us readers, to really just connect with them and relate with them and um, understand them where they're coming from. Um, which is why I like the Dritz Jordan and the R.A. R. Salvatore um, book series is because um, Dritz had a very strong wound where he's dealing with racism from his Elven race. Um, they are technically evil, you know, um, they do nasty things and he's technically a good guy. Um, so that is a wound, um, is dealing with that discrimination. And from that discrimination, he himself um, doubts himself how he's going to fit in this world and continue these good things. The wound not only caused doubt, but is tied to the, um, it's tied to the old concept they need to abandon. Um, the, um, in the case of Emma, we have Emma being a matchmaker, um, trying to get her friends to get married because she knows better. Um, as the story progresses, she becomes more humble, except the humility of um, her flaws that, you know, she doesn't know everything, she too can be deceived, um, and not everyone needs to have a fine match. Um, and it all started with her wound that her um, nanny, so to speak, finally got married. And she felt this void in her life. Which is why she attached herself so much to her best friend. She wanted to emulate the incredible woman in her life who had left her. And she wanted to bring that good influence onto her best friend. And thus comedy ensues. Um, but that is the wound that Emma had. Um, she's trying to fill in that void. She felt pained that um, she had now. She is finally maturing to this young lady and have to be a good influence upon others. So the wound in this story um, is multi-tone in my book. Um, and I really don't want to spoil too much. But um, it's a form of PTSD um, where he saw the death of his friends and in a very traumatic fashion and he is dealing with survivor's guilt uh, where he blamed himself for their deaths. And that had triggered these old concepts of um, himself where he is always ultimately the um, bad guy, always ultimately the murderer. You know, I had murdered my friends. I have always been a murderer. I will never be able to redeem myself. Because he was on that path of redemption. And this is where he kind of slips up. Uh, that's what this whole book is about. Um, besides saving Amavriel from this doppelganger queen, he slips up in his um, thinking that, um, he doesn't need redemption because he has failed. So it's a very abstract 
and that's why I like books in some ways um, compared to movies. Um, movies is very visual. Um, you need a visual presentation of your goals. Um, they have to stop something, they have to hide something, they have to um, convince someone, they have to do something physical um, to make things happen. Um, for the books, it's all mental. It's all um, abstract in that sense where you're able to showcase a little bit more layers um, for the audience um, to explore and discover. So that's really hard not to spoil too much about the um, book. Um, but in a nutshell, that's his wound and that's why he's being transformed in this manner. And it's not a gentle journey. Um, and thus the oh, I survived, um, line seems so inadequate now, um, as I am editing, I'm looking at his wound, how to showcase it a little bit more, give it a more depth, and, um, try to bring it out. So, I am thinking about the new line, um, thinking about what I need to do to make it more accurate about, like, how he's always been a murderer and such. Um, I know some of you will probably would try to help me out by trying to put the line in the comments and such, but I already got a few ideas in my head. I'm going to try to make it as unique as possible. Um, but there you have it. This is the first official write-in um, as I'm waiting for this to be converted. And um, I'll give you an update as I go. So, um, smash that like button and smash the subscribe button um, for my videos. Um, I have other previous videos um, about um, other uh, writing stuff and I hope I see you soon. Bye!